Hello guys and girls and welcome to yet another video tutorial. This is going to be the last one today. This isn't really a video tutorial, it was more like a half a vlog really. Um, UDK, I've been making some uh, video tutorials on that. Um, there's a few things you should know about that before you start going and start doing in that and going, wow, it's amazing. So if we just Google UDK, it comes up straight away at the top, udk.com. If you can't be asked to go and Google it, then just there's a link in the video as a t in the description of the video. Um, it's free to download and use. You can just click up here, download UDK, and the latest one is the March beta. Um, and then there's a few download mirrors and a lot of previous versions of the of the uh, UDK betas so uh, that's helpful if you um, want to backdate because there's something wrong with the current version they've made I haven't had that problem yet but that's what it's there for so if we just quickly look at the features page you can see there is rather a vast amount of features we've got all that but that's not really what I'm here for Gosh, that's what my video tutorials are for um, there's also, in case you're interested, like a few videos, 13 videos on um, like different bits and pieces that have been made in it. So, over here they've got, no, oh, licensing, that's what we want. Licensing, now this is the important part of UDK. It's free to use for home use, for educational use. It's free to use in schools as well if you're a teacher watching this, um, but until you start making money out of it, that's when you start to need a commercial license. It's free for non-commercial using. So this is quite difficult to get your head around the way they word it sometimes, so um, I'm just going to quickly go over it. I might set notes to read it, I've got a note here. Right, so basically they explain it, they explain that you pay a, depending on what your li type of license applies for you, you've got a personal and a company license, there's a few examples of what each one would be used for down here, um, but you pay for your license, which I think a personal one is $99, just click on that and see. Yeah. Royalty. And then for each. So a royalty is sort of like per user. And this one per se is for a business. So if you are a company with. Um, so you're going to have four computers that are going to be using that. You'd have four seats. So that's what the licensing bit's all about. So the licensing, you put your license and you have created a game or an application for use and you will pay I'm just free for it. If you if you create a game or a commercial application using UDK for sale or distribution to an end user or client, or if you're providing services in connection with a UDK game, game based or application, the per se option does not apply. Instead the license terms for the arrangements are US ninety nine dollars upfront and a zero percent royalty on your comp company's first fifty thousand dollar in UDK related revenue. From all your UDK based games or commercial applications and a twenty five percent royalty on UDK related revenue from all your UDK based games or commercial applications above 50,000 US dollars. Now in a nutshell that means that you pay for your license and then you distribute something that uses the UDK engine and until you start earning over 50,000 US dollars, that's around 21,000 pounds, then you don't pay anything. After you've exceeded that boundary 
you then start paying 25% on royalties to UDK or Epic Games. So um, that's basically it in a nutshell. And as you can see down here, you've got a few examples of different uses of the licenses. For example, I'll just read these quickly. Um, a warehouse company uses UDK to create an application for employee safety training. They develop it on a one computer and then install the resulting application on two computers for internal employees to use. They require a single UDK development seat license for a total cost of 2500 per year for as long as they use UDK to develop and or maintain the application. A team creates with UDK that they intend to sell after six months of development they release the game through digital distribution and they earn $60,000. In the first calendar quarter after release, their use of UDK during development requires no fee. Upon release, they would pay $99 US for a royalty-bearing license. After earning $60,000, they would be required to pay Epic $2,500 or $0 on the first $50,000 in revenue and $2,500 on the next 10000 in revenue. On subsequent revenue, they are required to pay the 25% royalty. And there's a last one, which is an architecture firm uses UDK to create a live, a live walkthrough presentation for their customers. They charge their customers a fee of five ha half, sorry, $500 for each walkthrough. Before they begin to charge their customers for the walkthrough, they would pay Epic US 99 US dollars for a royalty bearing license. They would sell the walkthrough presentations to 100 customers in the first quarter, bringing in 50,000 US dollars in revenue. No payment would be required to pay. No payment would be required to Epic for the first 50,000 dollars. In the second quarter, they would sell another 100 walkthroughs, bringing in another 50,000. US dollars in revenue. They are required to pay 12,500 US dollars to Epic. On subsequent rev revenue, they are required to pay the 25% royalty. So basically, if you want to create UDK to make some amazing things and um, start selling them, then just remember you're going to have to look through these licensing details, choose the right license, and buy it if necessary, and just basically be very careful when using it. That it's fine to use it until you start um, distributing different things. So um, as you can see, these tutorials are not making any money out of them. So I don't um, need a license at all. So I'm just sharing my knowledge, which kind of helps them as well because it kind of promotes their engine. So. Um, <coughs> That's it, yeah. Um, if you're looking for an interesting thing to look at, look at the Samaritan. This is a brilliant video. I'm really... Like, comment and subscribe then. This has been a video talk on the licensing of UDK or Unreal Engine 3. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and see you in another few tutorials in on UDK. Thank you very much, goodbye.